Hey, John Rodriguez here, coming to you live from The Hub, and I just want to do a little image demonstration on a church. I suppose this whole entire area is a church, and you looking at it are one of, the, one of its leaders, be it a priest or a, a minister or whatever it may be. I want to just make it clear that each container kind of represents an individual in the parish, comes from a, co a different culture, or speaks a different language. Um, it could also represent an uh, individual who has a particular vocation, a specific vocation. Or it could be a group, a group um, that could be a ministry in your church or an organization that's in your church that works to serve to build the church. Now, you looking at it, you are the one who interprets the mission of your parish, be it named after a saint or named after a devotional name. Um, could be Blessed Sacrament, could be anything, uh, um, something that, 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 that really guides the people. Now you're the interpreter and you're the one that guides this group. But suppose you have a group that is outside of the church and that group is not really with the church. It creates its own agenda, creates its own network, and it's not kind of like fulfilling its purpose within the church. It uses the church, it works with the church, when it when it benefits the group the purpose of the leader or the pastor is to bring that group back to make sure that it's working alongside each of the membership of the church again different container but it serves a purpose within this big group let's take for example the plate it's not a container but it just holds food but if i were to what's it called put something on it that doesn't belong if I was to put something on it, this item basically would make no sense. It serves no purpose for this for this plate. So the role of a pastor or the role of the leader is to know your membership, know the purpose of your group. What do they serve? What what vocation they have for the community? You know, everybody's different, but everybody got something to offer. And the, the role of the pastor and or the leader is to guide these members under that mission statement, under the purpose. First, it, that it's Roman Catholic, that it's a follower, that, that the group is a follower of Christ. Um, and lastly, that in that particular church or parish boundary, they're serving that particular community. And it's all connected to either the patron saint or the devotion name of the church. That way the church can grow and more and more people can be a part of it. More and more people can serve in it. More and more people can grow with it. The purpose of Renew Your Vision is to allow you to imagine. Imagine your church becoming big. We don't need so much of a mega church. We already have one. What we just need is believers. So learn to imagine. I'm John Rodriguez, and this is Renew Your Vision 101.